pharmacognosy of vinca synonym of vinca cantharanthus or periwinkle biological source it consists of dried whole plant of the madagascan periwinkle cantharanthus rosaceus has been variously designated as vinca rosaea it belongs to the family apocynaceae when we look about the geographical source it is indigenous to madagascar but is now widely distributed throughout warm regions and is much cultivated as an ornamental it grows profusely in southern florida commercial supplies of the drug are obtained from both wild and cultivated plants produced in various locations including africa india thailand taiwan eastern europe spain usa and australia coming to the history although the plant has a certain reputation in folk medicine for the treatment of diabetes modern investigators have been unable to confirm this property instead canadian workers during 1955 to 1960 discovered that extracts of the leaves produced leucopenic actions in rats these observations led researchers to undertake an intensive phytochemical investigation of the plant with a view to the isolation of constituents of value in cancer therapy six alkaloids proved active in this respect and two are now available commercially cantharanthus is an example of a drug plant which has been introduced into medicine during recent years and it is used for the isolation of pure substances rather than for galanical preparation microscope macroscopical characters that is external features color green color leaves pale gray roots purple or pinkish white or caramel red flowers odor is characteristic taste is bitter other features that is the plant is an erect pubescent herb having branched tap root leaf it is simple petiolate ovate or oblong hair acute apex and glossy appearance flowers bracteate pedicellate complete and hemophrodite let us see about this flowers in the coming slide fruits follicles with many black seeds so now let us see about the leaf so before explaining the leaf of vinca i have just shown a simple leaf so this is the apex of the leaf and uh, this whole part this is the lamina and the vein is shown as in the diagram and the prominent vein in the middle is called midrib then this portion is called axil and this is called petiole and a small projection from the stem near the petiole is called stipule and this is the stem okay so when we see the leaf of vinca it is simple petiolate it has a petiole and if you consider the shape it is ovate to oblong it is neither ovate nor oblong but it is the combination of both that is why it is mentioned it is ovate to oblong reticulate the veins if you see closely it is like we can see lot of islets of vein so it is reticulate and if we see the margin it is entire no depressions or elevations are there then the apex if you see the tip it is acute it is sharp then it has a glossy appearance then now let us come to the flower of vinca bracteate bract is a small leaf like structure on the peduncle which produces a flower in its axis axil so if we see the uh, flower uh, it has there is from the axil uh, this flower will start and at the place where it starts from axil we can see a small leaf like structure which is called as bract so this plant has bract then 
pedicellate. It has a pedicel like structure. A flower which bears a stalk or pedicel is called as pedicellate flower. Then the flower is complete. A complete flower is a plant bio biology term that is used to describe a flower that is built with four parts which includes the sepals, petals, pistils and stamens. Okay. So that is calyx, corolla, pistil and stamens. If a flower is having all these four, then that can be called as a complete flower. If any one of these four parts which are integral in forming a flower is missing, that flower is called as an incomplete flower. Then the next character is hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite is used in botany to describe a flower that has both staminate, that is male pollen producing part and carpellate that is female ovule producing part that is andricium and gynecium. If you see the vinca flower after this uh, petals below that the beginning part of this uh, here it will have the male pollen producing part that is andricium will be here and gynecium will be at the bottom. So it has both the reproductive organs in the same flower that is why it is called as hermaphrodite okay then if you see the color of uh, the petals uh, that it is violet rose sometimes it is white that variety is called vinca albus or sometimes white with red eyes that variety is called oscillators this is about the flower of vinca so coming to the transverse section, if you take a thin transverse section of this leaf, we can see different characters. Vinca has a dorsi ventral leaf structure. It has a dorsi ventral, it is not isobilateral. That is this type of palisade um, that is arrangements, which is seen in the upper uh, below the upper epidermis will not be seen in the uh, above the lower epidermis okay only in one side we can see this that is why it is called dorsi ventral leaf structure then uh, if we see in the case of senna it is isobilateral then epidermis is a single layer of rectangular cells with thin cuticle it consists of unicellular covering trichome and it has cruciferous stomata then in the mesophile regions, single layer of elongated and closely packed palisade parenchyma cells are present just below the upper epidermis. So this elongated uh, cells are called as palisade parenchyma. In the midrib region, two to three layers of colenchyma is present both below the upper epidermis and above the lower epidermis. So this is the colon chyma as it is shown in the figure. This is colon chyma. Then vascular bundle consisting of xylem and phloem is present in the middle of the midrib region and the rest of the intercellular space is covered by five to eight layers of spongy parenchyma. These parenchymas uh, which are clo close, closely found near this vascular bundle as I am showing here. These are all called as spongy parenchyma. Then calcium oxalate crystals are absent in vinca. So this is about the transverse section of vinca. Part. About 500 kg of drug gives 1 gram of vincristin. So the percentage of uh, vincristin uh, in this particular plant extract is very low. It is 0.0002% which makes it very costly. So attempts are made for its synthesis. Even nowadays, plant tissue culture also, they are, uh, they are doing a lot of attempts to um, synthesize this particular alkaloid by plant tissue culture technique. The plant contains alkaloid in very low concentration. By tissue culture technique, it produce, its production can be increased, but uh, but as far as now, uh, still it is in uh, discovery level. That is, researchers or much re research uh, researchers are going on in this particular aspect. Then, if you come to the uses, vinca plant is used to extract alkaloids like vincristin, vinblastin, and ajmalisin. Vincristin sulfate acts on 
mitotic cell division of metaphase and arrest the cell for further division. Hence, used as an anti-neoplastic drug, whereas vinblastin sulfate acts on mitosis of metaphase and in interferes in amino acid metabolism. It suppresses the immunity and uses in Hodgkin's disease, lymphoma, and choriocarcinoma treatment. When Christine is applied by intravenous route of administration in leukemia, Hodgkin's disease, sarcoma of reticulum cells, lymphosarcoma, and myosarcoma treatment. Vinca alkylates also used in diabetes and high blood pressure treatment. The maximum dose of vincristine sulfate is up to 2 mg, but 10 to 30 mg per kg body, sorry, microgram per kg body weight was administered intravenously, whereas the dose of vinblastin sulfate is about 100 microgram per kg body weight when administered intravenously. Then adult trends. Commercial samples of Canthranthus roses are often found adulterated with certain solanaceous roots like solanum, melogenia, and lycophericum esculentum, which adversely affect the quality as well as total alkaloid yield of the drug. When we see about the allied or the other species, a number of other Canthranthus species have been investigated and found to contain Vindolin type alkaloid. Some, for example, are Canthranthus longifolius, Canthranthus trichophilus, Canthranthus lanceus. Can, these uh, plants contain dimeric alkaloids similar to wind pristine and wind blastin. Thank you for watching.